1981. It all started with an idea. Find one exceptional woman and she'll change the world. So we started small with one grantee. Today, we've backed 460 from 75 countries. Esther became a Supreme Court judge, changing women's rights laws in Uganda. Malady makes influential films about social topics in India and Josefina's organization improves the health of Nicaragua's most vulnerable. Our sincere gratitude to our volunteers, donors, and friends. We've done a lot in 40 years, and with your help, we'll do a lot more. It all started with an idea. Welcome and thank you for joining us. As president of this 40-year-old institution, it is my great honor and privilege to welcome you to our celebration today. I wonder if in 1981, Babs Knox and Ruby Wingate foresaw just how successful they would be in establishing what we now call Margaret McNamara Education Grant in honor of their dear friend. Margaret McNamara is remembered as someone who cared and acted upon her goal of reducing health and education disparities in communities. By honoring the memory of their dear friend and her commitment to promoting the welfare of women and children around the world, Ruby and Babs jump-started a vehicle of change that was a natural outreach for them as members of the World Bank Family Network, then known as WISE that paralleled the development goals of the bank. So it was a great idea, an idea that has seen enormous success. Today, some 40 astounding years later, MEG comprises more than 150 volunteers who give of their time and talent each year to uplift the lives of women and children. Funds raised through their dedication and hard work have enabled us to award grants to 462 exceptional women representing 75 countries with a US dollar value of more than 4 million. Thank you for your part in this work and for joining us to celebrate the success of a great idea. We are very grateful to have several MMEG donors and friends expressing their well wishes and congratulations with us. I believe that a healthy, sustainable food system is essential for a creative and meaningful life. The words of a Californian farmer, a person who promotes social justice and support, and the son of Margaret McNamara. The McNamara family have been generous donors from the beginning. Craig, thank you for sharing in our joy. Thank you so much for your kind invitation to join you today. My mother would be so honored to meet all of you and to know that you are carrying on her dream of improving the lives of women and children around the world. My fondest memories of my mother are those of the joy she took in bringing hope and opportunity to children. Her dear friend, Lydia Katzenbach, remembered my mom in her eulogy at the National Cathedral when she said, I think Marg had a quiet sense of destiny in her life and in her actions of simple destiny I don't think she took special pride in her achievements. Rather, I think she had a feeling that she did what was there to be done, that she went where it was open to go. She had an uncomplicated yes to life's presentation. And I believe that it is that uncomplicated yes that motivates you to do the amazing work that you do, advocating for education and gender equality. My mom is right here on the wall behind me Blessing each day that we do this work together. Many, many thanks. I think your mother would be very proud of you, Craig. Thank you again. Ms. Stephanie von Friedenberg serves as Interim Managing Director and Executive Vice President at IFC, a member of the World Bank Group. Her priorities include increasing opportunities for women, scaling up investments to fight climate change, and promoting digital development. If ever is a woman who walks the talk, 
it will be our loyal supporter of many years. Ms. von Friedenberg, thank you for joining us in celebrating Meg's 40th anniversary. Let me congratulate the Margaret McNamara Education Grants Foundation for 40 years of empowering extraordinary women around the world. The work you have done is impressive by any measure, and even more so because you do it entirely with volunteers. The women you have recognized and helped over the years have faced many obstacles and hurdles, and yet with your support, they managed to turn their lives around, pursue their goals, and thrive in their respective fields. Your work perfectly reflects the mission of IFC and the broader World Bank Group. It demonstrates how educating and empowering women has a positive ripple effect on children, families, and communities. I have been a supporter for many years, and I have witnessed over and over again how you have transformed lives. So thank you for all that you have done and so passionately continue to do. Here's to another 40 years of changing the world, one woman at a time. We heard your charge of continuing with our mission. Thank you, Ms. von Friedenberg. With people like you supporting us, everything is just so much easier. Sukriya Kara Osmanoglu was president of our organization from 1989 until 95 and is now an honorary member of MEG. In 1963, as a nursing educator and public health specialist, she established the nursing faculty at the University of Istanbul. Sukriya. Okay, I am very proud of what the Margaret McNamara Foundations are doing right now. And then especially when I live in Turkey and then come back to see that they are working with the volunteers and the things. And I must say that thank you for the volunteers. And then please include all the volunteer educations and how do we do it and the things. In this country, I learned that how to help each other and the be volunteering work. And thank you so much what you are doing and educate the women, okay? If you educate the women, they raise their children very well and we will solve world problems in educating the women. It is such a pleasure to hear from a constant and beloved supporter of many decades. But Mimi is part of our Meg extended family. She knows the ins and outs of all the activities, from being a chair for a selection committee to enjoying the many great shopping experiences the fair has to offer. Today, she is president of the World Bank Group Family Network. Their global outreach to all the families is remarkable and offers Meg new opportunities for growth and contact with our alumni. Padmini? Hello, my name is Padmini Mahoykar and I am the president of the World Bank Group Family Network. It gives me great pleasure to wish MMEG a very happy 40th anniversary. I would especially like to commend all the hardworking volunteers who have made this journey possible. As a former volunteer myself, I know what it takes so thank you, all the chairs, the selectors, and all the others who have put in the hard work. Thank you. Joining the board again was our big game. Not only does Priscilla nostalgically remind us from where we came, she also offered to chair the 40th anniversary celebrations. Her experience as a museum curator is evidence of our amazing year-long celebration lineup. Thank you, Priscilla, for your dedication and commitment. Hello and welcome. My name is Priscilla Rachin Lynn. Two decades ago, I led the board of our scholarship fund when some of our dynamic and dedicated founders were still on it. Every organization needs an historian, and one of our members, Harriet Baldwin, captured our early days in print. Our grants were smaller then and the numbers fewer but we knew we would grow, and grow we did. Now serving MMEG again, I am so delighted here to see expanded programs in Latin America and Africa, at Trinity College in Washington, D.C., and in Canada, as well as the United States. 
This 40th year, we will virtually highlight our volunteers, grantees, and supporters with our MEG Talks, photo competition, and PowerPoint exhibitions. We invite you to visit our calendar of events on our website and hail 40 years of MMEG with us. Our next guest has made a difference to countless lives. Readers have valued her written words, audiences motivated by her inspirational voice, and many in need have benefited from her organization, Together Rising. MMEG is proud to introduce the incomparable Glennon Doyle. Hi everybody, I'm Glennon Doyle, author, activist, and founder of Together Rising, which is a nonprofit based on the idea, on the, the fact that when she rises, we all rise. And I am just coming here today to applaud MMEG for your volunteer-based work investing in exceptional women, because as they rise, we all rise, and the world is better for it. So thank you, MMEG. We cannot wait to see what you do in the next 40 years. We so enjoy messages at MMEG. This event is no exception. Us. Marta Gonzalez, board member and head of MMEG Communications, will now reveal some details of our photo competition. Thanks, Priscilla. Hello. Here at MMEG, thanks to the work of our grantees, we see on a daily basis how women around the world are building a better future. We might have to confine due to the current pandemic but that doesn't mean we cannot stay connected. For that reason, we have created a photography competition for you to share with us your vision of women building a better world. Whether you are involved in this yourself or you are the witness to the work of others. This competition is open to everyone and from any location. You can use any device to produce your images, from a mobile phone to the latest digital camera. What is important is your vision and the stories behind your images. We look forward to receiving your entries. It will be like opening a window to the world. Please start thinking and looking for those images now. We will publish the details of the competition on our website in February. Please follow us on social media for more information on this year full of events. Thank you. Terrific, Marta. This sounds like an exciting project for the MMEG community great for those behind and in front of the lens. Throughout the year, we will invite you to sponsor a seat at the table. Each grantee will have a designated space. 
we encourage you and all our supporters to host a $40 setting that designates one grantee. We envision that you will fill our table with our remarkable women.